Hello, I am Deborah Guy with Remax of Cherry Creek, and I am here to showcase this beautiful home behind me at 9894 Center Circle uh, in Parker, Colorado. Uh, it's located in the Stonegate community. Um, that is um, a very sought after community. It's got wonderful trails, pools, tennis courts, uh, two great elementary schools, and Chaparral High School is also just a stone's throw away. So uh, join me, let's go in and take a look at the inside. Welcome to the living room of the property. Um, as you can see, we've got vaulted ceilings, we have plantation shutters, great natural light with the um, floor to ceiling windows. Um, we've got uh, wide plank hardwood floors um, as well. Um, this current owner is using this as a full sort of family room, living room, but it could easily be separated into a formal living and dining with the chandelier here for you. Um, we have about 360 square feet in this room to do what you'd like. So we'll head into the kitchen next. Come on, follow me. So here we are in the kitchen. Um, my favorite feature of this kitchen is this wonderful custom island. Uh, that this owner had created. Um, it has um, just really great prep space, uh, plenty of space for entertaining. There's four bar stools um, on the island and then there's an awesome wine beverage fridge um, over here as well. Um, she's got hickory cabinets um, throughout the exterior side. Um, newer stainless steel appliances. Um, I love that the stove is the double oven um, and I really love that the fridge has that extra produce drawer um, that's custom as well. Um, again, granite countertops throughout, a really nice big deep um, sink um, in here. And then she's got it set up where this is the dining room as well over here. As you can see, again, we've got the wood floors throughout, uh, which is nice. You know, this space is really large. It's about 260 square feet, so it could easily be a large family room if, if you'd prefer with the fireplace, which is a really great um, aspect as well. Um, and then we'll head, next we'll head into the main floor bedroom. So here is the main floor bedroom. Um, this person currently has it set up as an office, um, but it has held a queen bed, nightstands, and a dresser as well, just to give you an, a sense of the overall space. It's got a really nice frosted glass door um, as the entry, and then a really good sized closet. Again, you know, since it's being used as an office, has more office gear there, but definitely good size. And then it has access to the uh, full bathroom. Um, this is a very uncommon feature in this neighborhood to have a full bathroom on the main level. Um, if you've got aging parents that love to come visit but can't handle the stairs, this is a great option as a guest room. So from our full bathroom, let's go through the other door and we'll head into the hallway. So here we are in the hallway, heading back into our kitchen area. We've got three doors here. Um, we've got our door for the garage, our door that heads into the basement um, that is unfinished, and then a wonderful coat closet. Um, she also has kind of a nice little mudroom area there with um, hanging for hats and coats and things like that. So um, next we'll head upstairs, follow me. So here we are on to going on to the second level. Um, this is a great little loft space. Could be a nice little reading nook, um, a little um, area for studying or crafts or what have you. Um, we've got an attic fan in this space as well that's great for ventilating uh, the home. And so next we'll head into the master, follow me. So here we are in the master suite, um, extremely spacious. It's got some nice ceiling height in here as well. Wonderful uh, natural light with the windows and plantation shutters. Again, this is a really, really generous room. It's about 240 square feet total. Um, and then we'll have you kind of lead right into the bathroom here as well. So go on in and uh, take a look. Um, we've got a wonderful master suite bathroom. Um, it has uh, double sinks, really generous counter space. Um, in there, it's got a really nice mirrored uh, vanity um, with additional um, storage space in that. There is a soaking tub as well as a uh, stand-up shower. Um, we also have um, the separate toilet closet that's got laminate floors there, and then it leads into the very sizable master closet uh, with Alpha systems in there for that. Um, you can just see how much space you have in there for all of your belongings. So let's go ahead and check out some of the secondary bedrooms on this level as well. So here we are in one of the larger of the three additional bedrooms on this level. Um, we have a wonderful built-in desk system um, and shelf work that will remain. Um, a great closet um, that's got the mirrored doors. And as you can see, this is a really good sized room. This is a queen um, sized bed in here and still plenty of space um, in the floor. So let's head towards one of the other additional rooms and show you that space as well. 
here is our secondary bathroom. It's got the very sought after double sinks, um, a really nice tub shower um, combo, um, and you know, plenty of room for siblings to share. So this is the third bedroom. Again, really good size, great closet space, um, and plenty of room for guest bedroom or additional child's room. So in this hallway, um, don't forget the laundry room, which is right here. Um, it's got a great space for side-by-side -side washer dryer, as well as um, areas to store plenty of things above, as well as the ironing board and accessories um, to your left. And now we'll go check out the final bedroom up on this level next. So this is the fourth bedroom on the upper level. Uh, let's head down to the basement from here and check out that space. So here we are in the basement. Um, as you can see, it's obviously unfinished, but we do have nine foot ceilings. Um, I really appreciate the fact that the builder put the utilities in a tucked in corner, which gives you plenty of space to do whatever it is that you wanna do down here. Uh, we've got three egress windows, which is great. So you can actually put another bedroom down here if you'd like, or just make it a big kind of play space or family room. Um, we also have rough and plumbing down here as well, so that you can um, put that future bathroom down here as well. So next we're gonna head into the backyard um, so we can get a space of, an idea of the outdoor space. So follow me. So here we are in the backyard. Um, we've got a wonderful wood deck um, that was just installed a few years ago. Um, it's got a great um, kind of area for putting all of your grill stuff and whatnot. You know, you've got your room for your grill, plus a really nice space for um, a table of some kind. She's got a four top here, as you can see. And there's also really nice um, lighting um, that's integrated into the actual railings of the deck um, that provides some great lighting um, during the evening. So let's kind of head down the stairs here and I'll show you the rest of the backyard. So continuing into the yard, as you can see, we have this wonderful concrete stamp patio, which is perfect for entertaining. We have some additional spaces over here, like a flagstone patio. Um, but what I really like about this yard is that they've done some retaining wall systems, so you have a really nice flat grass area. Uh, we do have sprinkler systems in both front and back, uh, which is great. And I want you to take note of all of the foliage in this yard. Um, the trees are just starting to bud, as you can see. Um, but you know the privacy that all of this, um, these trees and shrubs provide in the spring, uh, summer, and fall months is spectacular. So I think that our, our final space is the garage. So let's head that way and I'll see you there. So we have an oversized deep two car garage here. As you can see, we've got great storage with sort of a workbench as well. Um, and note the additional storage um, above um, with the metal rack systems. Uh, great for adding all of those bins, you know, your Christmas decorations and things like that. But obviously standard two car garage. Um, let's kind of head out front now again. I want to thank you for joining me for the tour of 9894 Center Circle here in Parker, Colorado in the Stone Gate community. Um, it's been a pleasure. If you have any questions at all about the home, please feel free to reach out uh, to me directly. Appreciate it.